hyperhidrosis treatment on her, which is for excessive sweating. So she's so kind that she volunteered to come in and show you what this is like because it is such a, we were talking about, you know, not a lot of people talk about this, especially women, but it is something that really bothers you um, to have this excessive sweating. And it's really common, and especially right now, like in the summertime, um, when we're treating you, it gets to be much more excessive this time of year, but it can, it's a problem all year long, but definitely um, more this time of year, going on vacations, being out in the sun, sweating excessively. So what kind of, can you just tell us really quick the kind of things that bother you with your excessive sweating? I don't want to see it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want it around me and I don't want it to be, you know, you've got your nice dress on, you're going out to dinner, all of a sudden it's like you got to run to the bathroom and make sure your deodorant's still kind of working, mm -hmm. messes up your clothes. Yeah. It's, it's a pain. Do you typically get like that big ring of sweat? If you were to lift your arm, you see that dark, dark sweat under your shirt? That's why we're black. Yeah, that's why you're <laughs> black. And so, yeah, that's not comfortable for men. It's not comfortable for women. And, um, you know, it ruins your clothes and it socially just makes you feel a little awkward and uncomfortable. So. Right. Um, there's lots of treatment options for hyperhidrosis, and we always want to make sure that you don't have any underlying medical condition. Most of the time, people who have hyperhidrosis or excessive sweating, there's really no underlying medical condition. It's just you. You have excessive sweat that comes from certain areas like um, the, the armpits, the palms, the soles of the feet. Um, Botox is one of the treatment options that we use. You can use um, prescription topical things. There's an oral medication you can take. There's actually procedures that you can have done um, with devices. And using Botox or any type of the toxins really will work, but Botox is FDA approved. We can treat the hyperhidrosis and get the excessive sweat to shut down on average six to seven months, but some people can go up to a year and some people need it a little sooner at three to four months, depending on how well it works. So we've basically done this test um, called a minor test, which is where I put some betadine on Lindy and then we put a little bit of um, cornstarch on her. So anywhere that you see that it's really dark, you can kind of see little patches of the orange. Um, she may not be sweating as much in those areas, but then where we see the reaction in the skin uh, where it gets really dark is where she's excessively sweating. So that kind of gives me an idea of where the treatment is gonna be, which is pretty much everywhere for you. This sounds so ladylike. Yeah. <laughs> I glisten. Good. All right, so we've got her all cleaned off. We're getting ready for our injections. You know, you've had some treatments in the past, so you know it's not terribly uncomfortable, but it is. We're gonna do a bunch of little pokes all through the area to get this sweaty under control, okay? If you need me to um, give you a break, just tell me, okay? okay? Just be your best advocate and let me know. So basically um, with this, we're just doing a couple little injections spaced apart um, enough so we can get a nice treatment. We will get a little bit of diffusion with this. Um, if this looks like a lot of syringes or a, a lot of um, fluid going in, we do reconstitute this a little differently when we're treating for hyperhidrosis so we can get a little more diffusion than we do when we're treating someone's forehead or anything for cosmetic purposes. Again, this is more of a medical purpose. How are you doing? It's not bad. Yeah, bunch of little pokes, but it's over pretty quickly. Not too terrible, you doing okay? Yeah. All right. This is gonna start working its magic here within a couple days, and you'll definitely, now you have a trip coming up, right? Yes, going to the islands. Yes, so you will. this will be just in time to enjoy your trip without having to have a lot of excessive sweating.